Hello, my name's Simon. I'm from Premium Quality Air Rifle Accessories, a small business in the UK, uh, selling scopes and accessories. Um, today I'm just going to do a little video um, about the Vector Optics Yugo range of scopes. Uh, in particular, the one we're going to take a closer look at today is the 3 to 12 by 44 uh, scope. Uh, however, there's six scopes in this range, all very similar in build quality. Uh, the difference is in the magnification. This one's a 3 to 12 44. Uh, there's a 4 to 16 44 um, and a 6 to 24 by 50. Um, and the difference is in the price range is to do with the magnification. And then each each of those three magnifications, they do the same scopes, but what they call a GT range. Uh, and that just gives them a, illuminated reticles um, with a, an illuminated red dot in the centre. Uh, I thought I'd just take a look at this scope today. Um, I'm really impressed with it. I've been testing it out in the field um, and using it for about a month now. Um, we've had them on sale for a, a little while um, and they're going really well. Uh, just thought I'd share what you can get in the UK for £110 uh, delivered to your door. Um, tracked and signed uh, from us. Um, we sell these on our website. We've also got them on eBay and Amazon. Um, and for the money they, they seem pretty much unbeatable um, I always say that about vector scopes because I do think they are um, priced very very keenly um, but these ones they seem to have excelled themselves uh, on what they can put in the box and what they can offer quality wise um, for the money uh, in the box you get a set of vector optics mounts um, they're 11 mil dovetail mounts uh, with all the fixing soles. They're a really nice, well-made mount. Um, and on their own, I'm sure they would retail at about 12 quid. So there's a, you know, pound for pound, they're really, really good value. Um, also in the box, you get a three inch uh, traditional sunshade. Um, getting a bit rare and hard to find now a proper sunshade the people seem to be heading towards the honeycomb sunshades in nearly all the products uh, particularly vector optics this is the first time in a little while that they've brought a new product out that i'm aware of um, that has a traditional sunshade which is brilliant um, the, the scope itself um, it's, it's rated for rim fire it's fine on a spring gun um, suits itself well to air rifles um, if you're putting that on a spring gun you probably wouldn't want the sunshade might obscure the loading port um, but worthwhile having anyway uh, so in the box you get the, the scope Let's see what else is lurking underneath uh, you get a vector optics cleaning cloth uh, and a little allen key the allen key is for the turrets on the scope uh, which are reset, fully resettable. Um, so once you've got your your scope zeroed in, you can set the turrets back to zero um, and and use them for dialing. Um, the scope itself uh, doesn't feel like uh, a hundred pound scope. It feels robust, well made, um, and it's, it doesn't feel like it's been built to a price. Uh, it feels like it's been built um, to a quality that they wanted. But yeah, it, it, you wouldn't recognise that. Um, it wouldn't stand out in a crowd any different from a scope that's three or four hundred pound in the actual build quality and the look of the thing. Um, the magnification ring um, runs very smooth um, from twelve down to three magnification. There's no grittiness in that, uh, and it feels solid and well well built. Um, it's a side focus scope, so to adjust the parallax, uh, which parallax down to 10 yards uh, out to infinity. It's nice and smooth again, there's no grittiness in that. Um, it feels purposeful, um, and yeah, it, 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 it looks the part. Um, the turrets uh, for windage and elevation, as I said before, the uh, they are resettable turrets, so once you've done all your zeroing, you can undo these little allen key uh, fixings at the top, and you can literally lift the turret, twist it, set it back to zero, 
and then you can use for dialing if if that's what you you do and um, you don't have to do that it's just an option uh, these are pop-up turrets um, nice positive clicks push down to lock um, same on this side so pull it out uh, for the windage nice positive clicks push down to lock um, same turrets, um, more or less identical to ones that you'd see on scopes. A uh, far higher price range um, and used by um, brand names in the UK, um, which many of uh, are made in the Sunclear Vector factory where these scopes came out of. Um, Vector Optics being the, the brand name, um, their own brand name, uh, that company. Uh, they come with a five year warranty. Um, first year back to base to myself uh, and then Vector Optics have a, a, a team of really really good customer service um, chaps and they you know I've not really had much contact with them because the scopes are really well built but the contact I have had has been really positive um, they respond to emails can't fault them for that okay so that's the scope um, that's £110 uh, delivered in the UK um, we ship worldwide as well um, for an extra fiver um, we've, we've shipped a, a few out to the USA to Denmark Italy um, Norway and Sweden um, over recent months um, I'm happy to do that we send them by international tracked and signed uh, so you can track your scope all the way to your front door wherever you are in the world um, specification wise um, I guess I'll just read down the, the, the spec list just so you've got a, a really clear picture of what the scope's about and then I'll talk a little bit about the reticle. Um, so this particular scope's 3 to 12 magnification with a 44 um, millimeter objective lens um, with a one inch tube. Uh, the advantage of having the small objective lens and a one inch tube is that you can get the scope close down to the barrel um, which aids with accuracy. Um, and, and gives you um, not too much elevation in your, your aim over shorter distances anyway. Uh, lenses are fully multi-coated, you get the flip-up covers included. Um, eye relief, uh, about 3.9 inch, so it's not too long, not too short. Uh, most people will be able to get on with that, I would think. 12.8 uh, inches in length, um, so I would describe it as a compact scope. Um, rather than ultra compact it's certainly not a massive weighty bit of kit uh, it's weighing in at 19 ounces at half a kilo um, which is, is light by most standards one inch tube which are coming back in popularity now because it does um, aid with getting the scopes a little bit lower down um, and people are appreciating the way that light uh, refracts uh, through it a um, bit like they used to on the old Bushnell 1040s. Uh, what else have we got? The click value is quarter MOA. Uh, so that's nice, fine, accurate um, zeroing. Um, there's, there's 60 MOA uh, elevation and windage allowance. So you've got plenty of scope for, for, moving, um, for zeroing. Parallax is down to 10 yards. Uh, and they call this reticle um, a VOI 10 BDC. Uh, to me what that means is it's an MOA reticle um, in the style of what I would describe a traditional mill dot I know it's not a mill dot so don't pick me up on that but a uh, nice clear thick line with a dot um, an MOA is slightly smaller than a mill dot um, I'm sure someone will post up the exact um, sizing difference um, but if, if, you, if you said that each gap between there is three quarters of a mill dot You've got plenty of aim points, plenty of ranging points, um, and will work well on most rifles. Um, and that's it. Can't really tell you much more about the scope, apart from it's £110. I've been trying it out. I really like it. It feels well made. Uh, if people see it on top of your gun, they'll think you've got a £300 scope, not a £110 scope. It does look that good. Uh, the specification of the other ones in the range, and, and I've kind of said, is this three different magnifications 4 to 16 44 6 to 24 by 50 and then the 3 to 12 44 that we've been looking at um 
and then each of those magnifications is a choice of reticles, one's illuminated um, with a red dot in the centre um, and these ones are non-illuminated. If you don't need the illumination, I think myself is best avoided. Um, it's just a distraction, something to get knocked, uh, potential to offer leakage into the scope and, and just a, a waste of a tenner that you don't need to spend. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Hopefully fairly short, sweet uh, and informative. Um, we've got all six of these scopes available at the moment in the UK um, for sale. Um, please do take time to have a look at our website pqara.co.uk uh, Many thanks and happy shooting!